Today in our 2017 Chevrolet Trax, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima roof rack system using the Jetstream crossbars and the Timberline towers with part numbers Y00425 and Y00147. Now the Jetstream crossbars are also available in silver with part number Y00428. This Yakima roof rack system is specifically designed to fit your Chevrolet Trax's raised rails. It uses asymmetrical jet flow shaped crossbars that are aluminum to carry your accessories. It also features a T-slot for your T-slot accessories. And it has a trim free rubber strip. The T-bolts just go right over the strip. They're 50 inches long. They're gonna allow you to carry your bike racks, kayak carriers, cargo baskets, and cargo boxes. The tower is simply attached to your raised rails using a rubber strip so you don't have to worry about any scratching. The end cap hides all of our hardware so it won't be tampered with. There's even an option to lock it if you'd like. You could pick up four Yakima SKS lock cores with part number Y07204. When they're installed, they're going to add about three inches to the top of your raised factor rails. They have 165 pound weight capacity, though you'll want to be sure and check with your Trax's owner's manual to see if your roof can carry that much. They also feature a limited lifetime warranty. Some crossbars stop at the foot pack or tower. The full length bars with the overhang are gonna allow you to maximize your space for more accessories. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get them installed. We've already got our front one installed on our Chevrolet Trax. The rear one installs the same way. Let's go ahead and show you how we did that. We'll first take our Timberline tower. We're gonna turn it over till we've got this opening facing upward. We'll take our adapter. We'll click it in place. Then we'll take our jet stream adapter. We want to make sure we place it over our bolt. Once we've got it in place, we can turn it over. Now we need to be able to access this hole here. So what we can do is we can take our strap, push it all the way inward, and that's going to allow us to get our tool in there so we can tighten our adapters up. So we'll take our included tool, go in there, and start tightening it up. We're going to tighten this all the way down. Now our tool has a unique torque feature. It's going to give us three clicks and that's how we know it's tightened down to the correct torque setting. Then we can turn it back over. Now we need to be sure that our jet stream adapter here is loose. If it's not, then you'll need to loosen up the bolt inside here with your tool. Now you don't need to loosen it up all the way, just loosen it up until it's nice and loose. Now we're ready to install it on our jet stream crossbar. Now we're going to be installing the Timberline tower on this bottom channel here. So we need to make sure that our adapters slide in place. Once it gets to here, you may have to push down on the rubber seal on top of the tower. Once it gets past, we should be able to slide it the rest of the way on. Just like that. Now we can just install our end cap. I've already got the other side installed ready to go. Let's go ahead and put it on our roof. Now we want to make sure that the rolled portion of the bar is facing forward. I'm going to set it around the area that I want it. I'm going to feed that strap underneath. Just like that. We want to make sure and set it in place and position it the way it's going to work best with our accessories. So I'm going to set mine up almost all the way, as far back as I can go. We want to make sure that the line on top is center with our raised factory rails. Once it's in the right spot, we can go ahead and grab our strap, put it in place, and repeat the same process on the other side. With our straps in place, we need to make sure that our bars are parallel. And you can check that by just using a tape measure and measuring center on center. So we need to check that for both sides. Perfect. With both of them checked, we can grab our included tool and tighten down our bolt here. And by tightening this down, it's gonna draw that strap in and make it nice and tight around the raised factory rail. Again, we're gonna be looking for three clicks here, and that's how we know it's tight. We can go ahead and repeat that same process for the other side. With everything tightened down, we need to make sure that we have even bar overhang now. We can do that by using our tape measure and making sure we have the same measurement on each side. 
Looks like we need to adjust it a little bit. It needs to come this way. So since we left our adapter loose, we can simply just pull it slightly and then check those measurements again. Then we can take our tool once more and tighten down that bolt on the inside. And you guessed it, we're looking for three clicks. Then we can just put on our end cap. With the whole roof rack system installed on your tracks, the last step would be to install your rubber seal underneath your crossbar. This is gonna help cut down on wind noise and drag. What you'd wanna do is you'd want to trim and cut around your timberline towers and it gets installed underneath the whole bar. But for demonstration purposes, we will not be installing this. And that's gonna complete our test fit on the Yakima roof rack system on our 2017 Chevrolet track. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.